In this video, I will discuss the benefits of the dynamic radio data rate feature in the TRIO Q-Series licensed radio, and then briefly show how the radios are configured to make use of this mode. Traditional narrowband data radios achieve reliable wireless communication over long distances by transmitting at low data rates, typically 9600 bits per second or less. At shorter distances, they may be able to operate at a faster data rate. However, the speed across the entire system is fixed, based upon the speed demanded by the most distant site. Consider the example in this diagram. When communicating, radio signals from the entry point radio diminish in strength as the signal propagates over distance. In a system without dynamic radio data rate selection, the user would need to configure all radios in the system for a data rate which would provide reliable communication to the most distant site. In such systems, a minimum of 20 decibels fade margin is typically designed into the system. Fade margin is the difference between the radio's specified sensitivity, its minimum ability to hear, and the actual received signal level. This protects the radio link from signal fading, cable degradation, noise, or interference. Modern SCADA system users typically demand faster data rates, however, due to the need to support Ethernet traffic. Reliability over long distances at faster data rates can be difficult to achieve. In the TRIO Q data radio, dynamic speed selection aids in this. It provides operation at the fastest possible speeds through constant measurement of the quality of service, which is the success of data delivery to the other end of the link, and by automatically adjusting to a slower speed if the quality of service is inadequate. Let's take a look at this example. With each radio able to adjust its speed dynamically, the system can typically operate more quickly in normal operation. Even though the faster speeds may not provide a 20 dB fade margin, the system remains reliable because each radio will automatically reduce its speed whenever necessary to maintain reliability. Some remotes may need to typically operate at slower speeds as they're at a greater distance or the path may be more heavily obstructed. At the same time, other sites will operate at faster data rates as dictated by their own conditions. In this slide, conditions have changed at two of the sites. A truck has driven in front of one site's antenna and bad weather is affecting another. Each radio will detect that its path quality is degraded and adjust its data rate to maintain a high quality of service. Later, when these abnormal conditions have cleared, these sites will increase their speed again. Even though that faster speed may not provide a 20 dB fade margin, the system is still reliable because each radio reacts to keep quality of service high when conditions change. A radio using dynamic mode maintains quality of service by monitoring both its measured received signal strength and any required use of automatic retry requests, also called ARQs. An ARQ is generated by a remote radio if a radio sending a message does not receive an acknowledgement or an ACK message. Retries will reduce the system's available bandwidth, but inclusion of this feature in the radio system allows the communication network to minimize issues seen by the SCADA system. We are now connected to a TRIO QR450 radio that is at factory default conditions. Configuration is done by navigating first to the setup menu, then selecting the required setup page from the left side submenu. The radio menu is where configuration of dynamic mode is performed. Scrolling down to the modulation area, it can be seen that the radio is by default in dynamic mode. So in fact, there is no configuration at all required to place TRIO Q series radios into dynamic mode. It can be seen, however, that there are several fixed data rates available while in this 12 and a half kilohertz channel bandwidth, 8, 16, 24, or 32 kilobits. Just remember that if a fixed data rate is preferred, all radios in the system must be configured for the same data rate. Thank you for watching this video discussing the dynamic data rate mode available in the TRIO Q-Series licensed data radio.